going on guys? Today I bring you this detailed guide on how to kill all 11 Gorgons within the Vault of Glass for the Blind Labyrinth Age of Triumph Record Book Challenge. Now I have seen other guides on YouTube but all they seem to do is tell you what weapons and setups to use. I on the other hand will give you guys a detailed map of the maze, pinpoint all Gorgons as well as give you guys the paths they take, which order to kill them in and what loadouts are best to use in my opinion. But before we go any further, if this video does help you out, leaving a like is much appreciated and as always to be with a chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway, simply leave a comment down below. Okay so getting into it, on screen now you are seeing the full map of the Gorgons maze. This map did take me quite quite a while to figure out as the template I used was very inaccurate so I made a few adjustments to where I think they were needed to get it as accurate as possible. You can see on screen now all the Gorgons and their locations and the paths they take also which order to kill them in obviously seen by the numbers next to them. You can also see where the two chest rooms are as well but I'm guessing you probably know their locations already. So there are 11 Gorgons in total which need to be killed. They do not get stronger as the other one dies, so doing it this way you should be fine as long as you listen to the instructions I tell you. Now loadouts to use, if you're a titan I suggest using a weapons bubble. Hunters use the tethers as your main priority, obviously using black hole. But if you have more than one hunter in your team, try using the golden gun with that celestial nighthawk helmet as it does do major damage to the gorgons, but you can miss your shots pretty easily. Warlocks don't really offer much which can benefit doing extra damage as a team, so use what you like. Weapons to go with, I'd definitely say the number one weapon is the Dark Drinker Sword, but the Ray's Lighter Sword is pretty good as well. The Dark Drinker obviously being the main first choice, as sometimes the Ray's Lighter can push the Gorgon away or up a wall and it can be really annoying. Another thing to state as well, that this isn't a two minute thing. You need to have patience, you need to gather time between each kill, as you may need to replen your heavy ammo by using simps or or replen your supers so definitely be patient here now you can easily kill gorgons without the inclusion of supers but they help for sure that is no secret okay so starting and we can see the spawn point at the bottom of the map and the first gorgon is located just to the right of the spawn point jump on either of these two rocks and try and entice this gorgon out with bullets don't actually shoot the gorgon to entice it though just shoot between your location and its location and it should come towards you and then you can just easily eliminate it The second Gorgon is located just a little further on from the first, following the same path. Wait for this Gorgon to kind of get out of sight, kind of slowly following it on its path. Hide about here on the map and wait for it, and then choose your shot. There ain't any other Gorgons in this area, so this one should be pretty easy. Now for the third Gorgon you want to head back to the starting area, once here follow the slight path forward I take. This one being a little more difficult due to there being a static Gorgon to its left. So here you also want to entice this one towards you, out of sight of that other static Gorgon. Once you've achieved this, try and kill it as quick as possible, but try not to hit it back towards that static Gorgon's line of sight and you should be fine. The fourth Gorgon is that static one. This one again takes perfect timing due to Gorgon 5 doing a loop of a rock and coming real close to the location of this Gorgon, making it very easy to be spotted if not timed correctly. So here wait for Gorgon 5 to be at least halfway around the right of the rock. You can see it loops before making your attack on this static Gorgon. If timed right you should have plenty of time to retreat back to cover. Remember guys, keep an eye on your heavy ammo, synth if needs be. Yeah. 
Now to kill Gorgon 5, what you need to do is simply approach it straight on, make your path to it as short as possible before attacking it, and get to it as fast as you possibly can. Tethers are good on this one and just straight up eliminate the bastard. Now Gorgon 6 can be a little tricky as it's hard to get behind him due to the fact he rotates in a small circle not actually around anything to get you a little cover. So again with this one make your path as short as possible without being spotted then surprise that morpho with your swords. Tethers again are good here. Whatever it takes really to get it down and you should be fine. Gorgon 7 is a tricky one. This again is a static Gorgon, so it doesn't move position. What makes this one extra tricky is the fact that two other Gorgons get in close proximity of it. But with good timing, you can eliminate it quite easily. So what you want to do is you want to gather your team on this rock here. It gives you a clear view of all Gorgons, including Gorgons 8 and 9, which come in close proximity to the static one you're about to kill. Gorgon 8 rotates around his path quicker than Gorgon 9, so wait for both Gorgon 8 and Gorgon 9 to almost cross paths, then fall back slightly to where we do. Watch for Gorgon 8 to fall behind the rocky loops, then quickly attack Gorgon 7, that being the static one. This one does have a habit though of climbing the wall behind him, so try and get a couple of teammates attacking from behind. Now once you have killed this Gorgon, quickly fall back to the position you were in before praying over these suckers. Now to kill Gorgon 8, fall left of the rock you are on and wait for this Gorgon to cross the path ahead of you. When you can just about see his back, strike and this one should be down pretty easily. Gorgon 9 is also quite easy. Here fall to the position of where the static Gorgon was, getting a little cover of the rock to its left and try and attack this one side on, as the path it follows to the right holds another Gorgon, so approach it as we do in the video and you should be fine. Gorgon 10 isn't too hard, but the area he patrols is a little small, so it's kind of hard for your whole team to hide in cover to get in as quick as possible and attack and kill. The best spot for you to do this, I've pinpointed on the map. Simply wait for it to cross your path ahead of you and eliminate it as quick as possible. Now the last Gorgon is the easiest of the bunch, obviously because there's no other Gorgons to spot you, but this one is static too, so he does not move at all. We all gathered on this rock right here, and then we just bombarded it with everything we had to offer, and it was done as easy as that folks. With this guide you shouldn't really have a problem, just remember to fall back to your current position after landing a kill, remember also to keep an eye on your heavy ammo, just be patient, don't rush it and you should get it done in no time. And guys that is it for another video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out. I will put the images of the map in the video description if you guys do want to save them to look at them later. But yes, a like on the video is much appreciated and it really helps out. Subscribe for daily destiny videos, press that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload and I will as always guys see you on that next one.
getting right.